notice that most human reproduction units focus on one particular aspect of human reproduction that people get kind of weird about? Well, I don't think that's a good way of teaching it because it makes kids really focus on just one little part of the whole piece and think that's what's really important about human reproduction. So that is not how I teach it. I actually started teaching human reproduction when I was a kid entirely by accident because my mom taught my sister and I and she was very scientific, very thorough, and we understood what was going on. But she didn't want to teach the boys. So the next one after my sister was my brother. And so she sent him in to learn with dad and he came out in like, I don't know, a minute or less. And he, I asked him like, do you know where babies come from? He's like, yeah, I think so. He's like, uh, so you know about A and B and C? And he's like, what? What? They do what? So clearly nothing was covered in that session. So it turns out that what basically what happened was he was like, hey, you know where babies come from? And he's like, yep, dad, I do. And that was it, uh, which is not an adequate lesson in how this works. So I pulled out, I was in high school um, at the time. There was a gap. We had a, my mom had a first marriage, first litter, second marriage, second litter is uh, how we say it. So my little brothers are my half brothers. And there's a little gap in there. Um, and so I was in high school at the time. I pulled out my textbook, my biology, high school biology textbook, and I taught him human reproduction the only way I knew how. It'd been a long time since I learned it from my mom, um, so I didn't remember how she taught it, but I knew how I learned it in school, which was not starting with, you know, the act. It was starting with the cells. And so I taught him about the cells, and I taught him about why we need to have human reproduction, and why we need variability, and the genetics, and all sorts of things, and he was fascinated. And so then when my next brother came along, I did the same thing again, and so forth. And then as a doctor, I discovered most grown-ups didn't know how a lot of this worked, including the things they thought they knew about. They didn't understand their own bodies, or what happens during the process of human reproduction. And so I started teaching that to the adults. Now, the human reproduction course that's so far available in Dr. Robin's school is not complete. Um, it is intended to be a start, but I could go on for hours and weeks and months and years about this um, because it's so important to me people understand what's going on with their bodies. Um, so there will be more eventually. But for now, what we have are four core lessons that talk through the cells, why we need meiosis versus mitosis um, and works the way its way into in order to make this happen obviously this is the only way this is going to work and so instead of it being like woo there's this crazy thing that people do it's going to be this is an obvious scientific solution to a scientific problem and presenting things that way puts a whole different sense on it that I think the parents will really appreciate and that put kids in a much less vulnerable position we also have multiple videos on different topics that I have thoroughly researched because I have kids too. Um, at the time of recording this video that I'm talking to you right now, my son is 14 and my daughter is 11. So this is very pertinent to me. And there's a lot of topics that I didn't know anything about because I did not have technology like this when I was their age. And so we didn't have things like sexting. We didn't have access. I mean, you wanted to look at dirty pictures. You had to go down to the gas station that had them. Not the nearby one, but the far away one. There is so much that's now available to our kids that we don't want available to them. And most parents don't even understand a lot of it because we're not out looking for trying to do that kind of thing. And being able to explain like what is sex thing? How do you protect yourself? How can you get in trouble? And not to scare kids, but to give them some real information. Maybe you're trying to tell them the same things and they aren't listening to you. Or maybe you're like me and you're like, what's that? <laughs> and so um, I spent a long time reading. I have a stack of books probably like I don't know, foot tall. I read many research articles um, on what really works and what's out there and how to pr help protect kids. Um, I also talk a lot about how the brain is wired and how our survival brain or our, our brain that's not very smart kind of kicks in and makes us maybe make bad decisions and how we can work around that. Um, you can preview every single one of these videos before showing it to your children. It's all in the parent portal, not where they can have access to it um, on their own. And I highly recommend watching the videos together. 
For the first four videos, there's also a worksheet that goes with each one. Um, and I did create models so that instead of having the big disturbing models that I had when I was in school, um, there's smaller polymer clay models that are not human colored um, for the most part so that they feel more um, comfortable and less horrifying, or at least that's how I felt uh, when I saw some of the models in school. So I hope that that helps get you started. It's not a complete uh, program at this point because we need more about like what happens during the female uh, monthly cycles, what happens during pregnancy and childbirth. So there's a lot more to go in in the future, um, but this was already a huge effort um, to get in and I was also recovering from COVID, long COVID at the time and pneumonia. Um, so each video I look better than the last one. Um, so I'm going to redo these at some point uh, when I don't look like I got dragged in by a cat and uh, also add in a lot more detail. Um, so I hope you enjoy the human reproduction videos. They're, they were really important to me to do and not wait um, because so many families needed them, but there's so much more we're going to do in the future.